All right, everybody. This is uh, the video all about case number 12, drummer's drumming. Um, the big thing you got to remember when doing this project is using the power of your imagination, okay? And the world needs more people using their imagination. So with this one, definitely, you're going to have to turn on the imagination because uh, case number three and five, they have silly aspects to this, and this has silly aspects to this. But this one is very much very personal and very real, especially to every kid in America, okay? So, it says case number 12, Thomas Drummond. And um, long story short, there's two sides. There's the prosecution and there's the defense, okay? On the prosecution side, I, I pretty much both sides state the same information. Well, let me read to you right quick. The Scientific Association of Holidays has recently completed a study that reached the conclusion that the figure known as Santa Claus does not exist. Everybody say, oh, no. I'm going to holler at that statement because, oh my gosh, that's some heavy stuff. In their research, the SAH claimed that Santa could not physically or scientifically be able to deliver presents all over the world, so therefore he is not real. Many toy, decoration, hardware, and retail companies are upset with this claim that Santa Claus does not exist. A petition to overrule the SAH's report has been signed by Fisher Price, Mattel, Holiday Style, Nintendo. Toys R Us, Velk Sears, and J.C. Penney. Your group of attorneys, really, it's not group. You as an attorney, because it's not a group project, specializes in representing companies in massive lawsuits, has been hired by the companies listed above to question the validity of SAH's document, which is entitled Ho Ho No, The Truth and Science Behind Santa. The companies that hired your group have been have united to keep the spirit of giving and shopping alive have made themselves operation retail in this lawsuit. Your job is to create an argument against SAH's claim that Santa is not real and to question the science and methods behind SAH's research, okay? So long story short, your job is to prove that Santa Claus is real, okay? That's like every kid's dream right there to be able to prove that Santa Claus is real, okay? I gave you some tips down here. Um, when you're thinking about stuff, the ways that you can go about this, you know, are there any sightings of Santa? Look them up on the internet. NORAD, what is that? Oh my God, please look at NORAD. How much money does the Christmas business bring into the economy each year? How many more Santas are there on average in America? What does Santa represent in our current culture? Okay, so those are kind of the ways I'm kind of pushing you in this direction. Now, if you're, re if you're watching this, and you're not part of the prosecution, you're probably part of the defense. So let's flip that over, let's take a look at the defense. So, the prosecution was trying to prove that Santa Claus is real. The defense, so you're defending the SAH, your job is to prove that Santa Claus does not exist. Oh, no. That's like the worst job ever, okay? This paragraph is the same as before, but look at this one. Your group. As registered defense attorneys, again, you're not a group, you're an individual, has been hired by the SAH to defend their study, which is entitled Ho Ho No, The Truth and Science Behind Santa. The companies listed above have united together to form a group called Operation Retail that aims at discrediting the SAH and its research. You must argue to the court the reliability of the document's research, the science used by the SAH to reach their conclusion, and why it's important that the validity of the document to not be questioned. So long story short, you are trying to prove that Santa Claus does not exist. Man, what a lousy job to have, okay? So a few tips I gave you. How much food and drink can a stomach hold before bursting? Why would that matter with Santa Claus? How is it scientifically impossible for reindeer to fly? How fast would Santa have to travel to visit all the kids in the world? How much money does the toy industry bring in during the Christmas season? Why are people buying toys when Santa is supposed to come to visit? And why does Santa visit some families but not others? <gasps> so your job is to prove that Santa Claus does not exist if you're the defense. If you're the prosecution, your job is to prove that Santa Claus is real. Okay. And that's case number 12, Charles Trump.